Hi there, this is George R. R. Martin coming to you from Santa Fe, New Mexico, from Santa Fe's original art house, the Jean Cocteau Cinema. So we have some questions from fans. The first one is, do I need to have seen Game of Thrones in order to understand House of the Great? And the answer is no, absolutely not. It's a different story um, set in the same world, set in the world of Westeros, telling the story of the Targaryen dynasty at its height when they had a lot of dragons. That's why we put dragon in the title. So who is my favorite character to write in Fire and Blood? And who is my favorite character to watch on the show? Well, those are tricky questions because that's like asking, well, which one of your children do you love the best? Daemon Targaryen, uh, the rogue prince, is uh, one of my favorite Targaryens. He's very charismatic. He's very changeable. You never know what he's going to do, what side he's going to come down on. Uh, is he going to do something appalling? Is he going to do something heroic? He does both in the course of this, and I like that kind of complexity in, in my characters. I, I like uh, people who have a little humanity to them, because I think all of us have both good and evil in us. King Viserys Targaryen I, as portrayed by Patty Constantine in the show, is better than the way I wrote King Viserys in Fire and Blood. He's uh, stronger, He's still conflicted. He's more of a tragic figure. He's uh, has King Lear aspects to him, if I may dare that. And that's that's made his portrayal really, uh, really interesting to watch in the show. And let it be known, anyone whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. Does the color of a dragon say a lot about his character? No. No, it's just the color of uh, the dragon's scales. Any more than the color of a human being's skin doesn't say anything about the, our character. But if you look in nature, which was my idea when describing these, dragons are basically reptiles. They're lizards. If you go online and look at lizards and snakes, they're, they're incredibly brightly colored. And some of them are striped, and some of them really stand out. I mean, the coral snake, the snake with its banding. And especially in this show, because we have so many dragons, that I wanted the audience, as well as the characters in the show, to be able to recognize which dragon it was when it uh, when it flies overhead. And the color is, is one of the ways we, we do that. If I had to live in Westeros, where would I like to live? I, I don't know, I think um, Old Town, way down south, the oldest city in the realm, that would be a pretty good place to live. It's, Old Town and, and King's Landing are, are both very big cities, but Old Town is older and nicer. It's a, it's a city with uh, hundreds and thousands of years of history, while King's Landing just kind of mushroomed from nothing. Um, so Old Town has, you know, cobblestone streets and nice restaurants and a river. It's more southerly, so winters are not as harsh. Which dragon in House of the Dragon is the most formidable? Valerion the Black Dread is dead by the time House of the Dragon opens. And he was he was Aegon the Conqueror's dragon. He was the biggest of the Targaryen dragons that uh, uh, took over Westeros. So with him gone, the largest and oldest remaining dragon is Vagar. Vagar has been around for hundreds of years and uh, has fought many wars, has reduce things to uh, ash and flame and bone. But Caraxes, who's also a very large dragon, Prince Daemon's dragon, but is uh, younger and not as huge as Vagar, but he's, he's younger and faster, and he's also very battle-hardened, very fierce, doesn't take any crap from anybody. Um, so both of those dragons are, are really, really formidable. My favorite scene to see come to life in a show. What is my favorite scene? Whoa, actually I haven't really seen it yet because as I'm recording this tape, I've only seen rough cuts. Some of the th scenes that especially didn't involve special effects, um, I'm not gonna see for a while yet because especially the later episodes, we're still working on the special effects. But the biggest scene has to be the, the dragon battle in episode 10. That's a huge moment in, 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 the, in the books. It's going to be a huge moment to see. It's a huge, huge moment in the war. It's, it's really the, one of the big turning points of the, of the war. That's something I really want to see when it's completely finished. I mean, it looks already pretty damn good in the rough cut, but the rough cut is, is rough. 